Can you guys hear that? Ah. Like this guy's literally just parked his car in front of my house, he's blaring music and is throwing a rager. This face before, this is face before. What, I sound like an 11 year old boy hitting puberty. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel, but if you've never seen this face before, my name is Shauna and you should definitely subscribe because I post new videos every single week. In today's video, I'm kind of throwing it back to like OG YouTube. I personally love watching them and I've been wanting to film this for a while. I'm going to be doing a what's in my purse, more specifically what's in my work purse. And I talked about kind of wanting to make my videos more career related, university advice, engineering advice, just things as I'm learning as I'm growing up to be a young adult and all that fun stuff. So I thought I would start with showing you guys what is in my work purse. Oh wait, I think I kept the authenticity authenticity card. This is the belted large satchel in black leather from Michael Kors. Long story short, for my very first co-op placement in 2020, my mom got me a big girl work purse that I could take to work and then COVID happened. So I never brought it to work until my next internship. And my mom got my initials engraved on it, which is so cool. CDT, Shauna Diaz, the other last name that no one knows. Or you can wear it crossbody or on your shoulder. And I'm just gonna show you guys what I bring to work, my work essentials, my work necessities that I literally cannot live without. I'm so used to working from home that when I was finally in the office, I was like, oh wait, I probably should have brought this. Oh, they don't have this here. Oh, da 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 da. So I learned to pack the perfect work bag. And also I feel like when YouTubers make these videos, they organize their purse first and like, you know, plan it to all look cute. But honestly, I'm not 100% sure what's in here. Today's Saturday. I literally packed my bag Friday when I finished work. And here we are. So. I might not even know what's in here. First thing, headphones. I carry two pairs of headphones, one wired, one wireless. The wired ones are what I put in my work laptop. I have masks. Ow. Okay, I swear God, I didn't do that on purpose. Oh, I got a cute pen, because you know, I gotta write things down. That is what's kind of in the front pocket. Mostly everything is in the main body of the purse. I just throw things in the front and in the back pocket. This purse has the main zipper in the middle and two just loose pockets on the outside. Of course, I have my work laptop. My work gave me a laptop to use for work, so this isn't my personal laptop. All my hard work is on here. And yeah, I bring this with me everywhere. If I dare forget to bring this to work, I will probably get fired. Literally, guys, look, it's a mess in there. I've nailed down the necessities, except I have not nailed down the organization. Ooh, the next thing I have is my planner slash notebook. This is where I write everything down. For me, I need it on paper for me to remember it and to organize my thoughts. This one I just got from Walmart and this is my favorite layout. This is what the spread looks like. So on one side, you just have plain dotted paper, like bullet journal kind of. And then up here, you can circle the date. And then there's a section for to-do list notes and follow up. I think this is honestly the perfect spread for work because there's a checklist. So I write all the things that I need to do that day extra notes and follow-up things if I need to send a follow-up email, follow-up call. And then I have this big blank page to jot down things during meetings, things that people just come and tell me I need to write it down. And then it comes with a little bookmark. Here's what the brand looks like at the back. It's called Markings by C.R. Gibson. I know Walmart carries it. Next, I have blue light glasses. This is obviously a necessity because I don't want to get a headache. So I literally stare at my screen all day long and a little cloth thing to keep them clean. Okay, next, I just want to take this out. Um, I have a bunch of wires. One of them is my charger for my work laptop, two HDMI cords and an HDMI to USB-C cord. I have my desk at work with two monitors. I swear wires disappear all the time. So I bring my own wires. When I know I'm gonna be at work for like the whole week straight, I just leave them there. But when I know I'm not gonna be in the office for a while, like I don't think I'm gonna be going in for like two weeks, I just bring all my wires home so no one steals them. And I've also labeled them with my name. Here's my work badge. Look how cute I look. That was my first day ever working in an office. Literally cannot forget this. I've forgotten this before. And without it, I don't have access to any labs or any room that I need to be in. And then I have to get a temp badge and it's just not fun. You need hand lotion, especially in the winter. This is crucial. No one wants to work with like 
cracking, crusty, dusty hands. So this is the Aveeno hand cream, specifically for eczema, because I have eczema and I hate it, so. Tylenol, this is Tylenol Extra Strength Rapid Release, because work gives me a headache. I think it gives everybody a headache, so I carry a lot of drugs because I need them. Oh, I kind of forgot I had this in here. I have a COVID test. When I was consistently going into the office um, for a big project, I'll call it that, every three days I had to do a COVID test, which was not fun. And I always brought a spare one in case I forgot to do a test and then I had to go in. I really don't need to be carrying that around anymore. This is important, wallet and keys. This is my keychain for my car keys. It's a reworked Louis Vuitton bag. It's not too big and not too small. I know some people get like those really big, thick, long ones, but realistically, they don't really fit into small purses. And here I have my house key, car keys, car starter, air tag. This is my wallet. It's a little coach coin purse wallet thing. It has two flaps at the front, a zipper inside for more cards. And then on the other side, I have my driver's license. I have a mouse. This is a wireless mouse. I have the receiver always plugged in to my laptop here. Cause yeah, I bring my own mouse to work. Batteries for my mouse. And then I have my AirPods. My work actually gave me these AirPods for Christmas. Little AirPods, I have them in a clear case to fly case. All the fans in the lab. Well, I just broke my AirPods. I definitely, oh my God. Sometimes I literally clip them to my keys so I don't forget them. So yeah, I definitely recommend a clip. I have oil absorbing sheets from Clean and Clear. These are the best oil absorbing sheets if you're an oily queen like me and you got a dab. I have another pen. Oh, I have gum. I have a pad and a tampon. I used to have a better feminine product kit in my purse but then I found out at my work in the women's restroom, there's free tampons and pads, so I don't bother packing an emergency kit when it's just there for free in the bathroom, which is really nice. I respect that. I feel like every place should have that. What's this? Oh, I have a little utensil kit. Always pack a spare like plastic set in your purse in case you ever forget, and then you don't need to go around and ask people to borrow a fork or go to the cafeteria whatever so this just has a fork a spoon a knife pepper salt and a napkin pretty sure it's from lone star i also usually have a lip balm in there but i think i lost it i realized this wasn't in my purse but i always bring my water bottle to work as well this is the lululemon back to life sport bottle or something like that i literally just dumped everything out and now i need to clean it all back up so that's fine i hope in some way maybe this helped gave you some inspo if you're starting to go to work or even school and kind of necessities that you want to keep in your purse comment down below any other work related or school related videos that you want to see thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye